Continuing coverage tonight on the solar panel farm planned for Van Zant County. KETK's Annalise Koble brings us an update on the grassroots effort to stop it. It's going to affect this whole county. Many in Van Zant County are not okay with a proposed solar plant coming to their community. In late January, they met with Pattern Energy, the company planning the farm. Emotions were still mixed. I've seen some solar farms, and they're 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 pretty. Uh, <laughs> they're pretty big and they're kind of scary looking. If you want to make a profit, you'd want to put these panels in West Texas where there's more sun. Mm -hmm. uh, the land's cheaper there on top of it all. And uh, there are less people mm -hmm. to complain. We really, uh, haven't decided whether or with these guys or with against them because there is a few questions I need some answers for. I think it would be an excellent thing for the community, uh, for uh, the country. And I look very forward to, to seeing this plant uh, uh, be put into, into operation. Just this month, David Dunnigan, who is spearheading the movement, took the issue to Austin. Very happy to see that there are quite a few bills in the Texas uh, Congress right now to to kind of help with our situation. If passed, Bill 1610 would help ease their concerns about the longevity of the project and the safety of the land which literally requires these solar companies when they come in to put the money in up front to decommission these, these facilities when they're done. That Although the bills won't pass in time to help folks in Van Zant County, they don't plan to stop fighting. Our group itself of, of those surrounding citizens that are involved is, is probably close to 1,500 people at the moment. And uh, we're currently raising funds because it, it looks like this is probably going to be a situation that ends up moving to the courts. The small community says they will win this battle one way or another. Annalise Koble, KETK News. We will continue to bring you updates on this story in future newscasts on air as well as on our website at EastTexasMatters.com.